Okay, I'm back. Welcome. I, I want to do this. Welcome to Shut Up and Eat. That almost sounded pretty cool. How are you, everybody? Thank you for joining. Smash that like button. Get on the board. I appreciate every single one of you. Hello, Piper Rocks. I'm glad that you could make it. And Nancy is back. Sandra is back. Josh. Um, I just ran over to the grocery store. Uh, let's see who else, is anybody else here? Just uh, a couple of you. Oh, uh, thank you all for joining anyways. Jason, I'm not doing the bubble bath. <laughs> uh, oh, you cute is here. Thank you all for joining. Let me, uh, I got a bunch of ingredients out here and I'll show you in a minute. Hey, uh, prep for it. How are you? I just, I, I, I seriously have to sit down, have a bit of a coffee for a minute. Um, get, make sure the microwave isn't, uh, showing because then you can see my laundry hanging up. <coughs> so today we are um, going to be making, I uh, love the new emoji, awesome Piper Rocks, uh, yes. Luis is here, how are you? Uh, Chubby emoji is there, but also we added, yesterday we added, because we hit our, um, our next emoji level, uh, we added the Jason Mante coffee emoji, um, and now we just need 10 more members, 10 more, to get another emoji. So uh, smash that join button if you uh, want to become part of the emoji club. Uh, today we are going, I'm going to replicate, I guess you could saw, call it, uh, Korean street toast. Now, Korean street toast is very popular, guess where? In Korea! Um, when I was in Myeongdong, uh, when was that? Almost two years ago, I guess now. Was it two years or a year? I can't remember. OMS. Uh, plug in the OMS emoji now. Um, hashtag Luis R. Smash the emoji button, brother. <laughs> um, I didn't actually get to taste the street toast, but I saw how it was made. Um, you know, there are videos on YouTube on how to make it. Today, I'm going to do my kind of style um, of Korean street toast. It's a freaking omelet sandwich, basically, right? But it's going to include cabbage and onion and carrots, which is basically interesting, I guess you could say. Uh, there is a bit of sugar involved, which I better remember to get the sugar right now. Um, sugar. And uh, there's all kinds of different things. Um, so right now here I have cheese, ham. I'm going to use ham today. You can't have bacon. You can't have any protein that you want. Uh, which is pretty cool. Um, I went out and got uh, this bread. This is just regular sandwich bread, uh, six slices, so you can see how thick it is. Um, we grill this up. This is called royal bread. This is one of the breads that I actually like. Hi, Indigo. Hi, Pigtooth. Um, there are all kinds of bread options here in Japan. Now, I do go and uh, to my local bakery, like I said in my earlier live stream, um, and I do support uh, the bakery there. Uh, that's where I get my shakupan. Um, but yesterday when I made this, the bread was kind of soft. So I'm hoping this bread will work. Uh, it's a very simple recipe. Uh, again, it, you know, if you, uh, I miss bread from Japan. Bread is awesome here in Japan. I like the fact that when you have bread here in Japan, you get it in like, Basically eight slices, which would be normal. Then if you want it thicker, like Texas toast or whatever, you can get it in six, five, and four. Um, but I remember back home, you know, you get a loaf of like Wonder Bread or Dempsters or, you know, whatever. And it was like this freaking big, right? By the time you get to the end, the bread's kind of stale. Now, for me personally, I love fresh bread. The only time I like not so fresh bread is if I'm making grilled cheese sandwiches. Because um, then I want, just stir my coffee here. Um, then I want something like not so fresh. Um, but uh, yeah, that's uh, kind of where we are. Um, and again, Moto Gnome is, again, he's a beast, man. He's on the board again. Thank you so much. I will uh, tilt the camera up here and uh, I'll be throwing you on and doing a shot for you. So thank you, Moto. Moto Gnome. You must be bored at home. Thank you so much. And uh, well, here. Uh, 
We don't have much left to go, but uh... thank you, everybody. I truly appreciate the channel support and uh, truly appreciate everybody being here. Oh, Tiger Zombie is back. Is there a Japanese version of bread pudding? I do not know that. Cheers. Thank you. Oh. I need my coffee chaser. It's pretty sad that a coffee chaser. Hi, Stephanie Emma. I hope everybody comes back and joins in. Uh, we had a great turnout last uh, time. Hey, Desert Fox, how are you? Shot time! Absolutely. One of my cats just stuck her tail in a little a lit candle, and now the house smells like burnt fur. Ew. Ew. So, I have today... Uh, one little, little carrot, little carrot. I'm going to use, uh, I'm probably just going to shave off some onion here. And I actually have, this is the best here thing since sliced bread. <laughs> sliced bread. Get it? Um, this, uh, this is 99 cents, a dollar, for some shredded, pre-shredded cabbage. Um, I actually don't eat lettuce, actually. This is how I eat my salad. Uh, I'll use shredded cabbage tomato, cucumber, you know, whatever else you add in a salad. Fang popped in and now he's leaving. Is that what I just saw? We'll have to watch the replay. Need to head back to the airport. Okay, bye everyone. Oh, I thought you were off today, Fang. Okay, see you, Fang. Um, so yeah, that's what we use here. Um, so basically, I'm going to uh, cut up the carrot, the onion, and add the cabbage into... Uh, this bowl here, I'm gonna add about, I don't know, three or four eggs, I'll, I'll see how it goes. Uh, some salt and pepper, and that's it for the mixture itself. <coughs> now, I, I am gonna be using this pan here, um, just for the fact that the circumference of this pan might be pretty good to uh, use. Um, we're gonna fry that up, we're gonna heat up a bit of ham, slap it all together, grill the bread, and away we go. Korean street sandwiches, they're comfort food. They're usually wrapped in an aluminum foil kind of a thing. Of course, I'm not going to be doing that. Um, and uh, that's pretty much about it. It's a glorified Denver omelet sandwich uh, without the green pepper and the ham and onion kind of style thing. But there are a few ingredients in there. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoy it. Hopefully you guys can make it. It's easy enough to uh, make. Um... So the time she's done something stupid, she tried to lick craft paint. Oh, that's kind of weird. Uh, so I'm going to put the camera back and I am going to, uh, I've never heard of Korean sandwiches. It's just kind of like a savory Swedish kind of sandwich, Piper. Yeah. I'm going to put the camera back, tilt it down. We're going to get rocking in, rolling because I'm hungry. And of course you guys are on the gimbal. Uh, hopefully, uh, but what are those bell-like doodads behind your left shoulder? Salt and pepper. They're like little bunny ear kind of salt and pepper things. Um, so yeah, let me get rid of the stool here. <laughs> the stool. <laughs> and away we go. All right. So basically, all you need to do, I have some uh, onion here. I'm going to cut off a bit of carrot. Now, adding carrot in, you're gonna you're gonna cook it, but you're not gonna cook it, you know, too much. But uh, level it off, yum! And you can just slice it however you want, as long as you have it quite thin. That's all you really want to do. So, like, we're looking. You know, it's something like this thin. So it's not going to, it's going to be a bit crunchy in the sandwich. But at the same time, you're not going to be overwhelmed by too much crunch. Never been a good slicer. And if you want to dice it up even smaller, by all means, right? If you want to cross cut it over, um, by all means, do that too. Now, just for intense the purposes, you know, I'm going to take it all and I'm just going to cut it in half. You know, make it a little bit smaller, which might be okay. You can cut it this way if you want, but you got to be careful. Make sure that, uh, you know, you get them at least, you know, semi-thin, I guess you could say. 
And again, Ju Julienne. And then I'll just cut them in half just because I don't want such, you know, big bites of stuff. And this knife I just sharpened. I need to get a stone or something like that. Thank you for the thumbs up. I just looked up and saw somebody hit the thumbs up again. I do truly appreciate it. Now I'm only making one sandwich, of course, so that's probably in, probably way too much carrot, actually. But again, you know, you could use as much carrot as you want. Uh, typically, a Korean sandwich does have onion, carrot, and cabbage. So again, I have an onion here, and uh, I'm just going to slice, thinly slice it. And we're talking, you know, as thin as, thin as you can get, pretty much, okay? going to cut off the core here, and then you can cut the, uh, the onion however you like. Again, it's all going to the same place. So as a, good, a great chef uh, years ago, Jeff Smith said, if you don't have great knife skills or you don't really care how it's cut, just chop it up. As long as it's edible, that's all that matters, right? So again, I'm, I'm gonna mix that up here. See what it looks like. You wanna make sure you have a good ratio. So is there more onion? Personally, don't need it. I'm gonna take my bowl here and uh, I'm just gonna dump that in. That's all I'm gonna do. So I got about, you know, kind of looking like this here. I'm gonna turn around. I will add a bit of pepper and a bit of salt. And then I'm gonna, once I put the cabbage in, I'm going to add a bit. So you're kind of creating layers. I have special scissors, food only. And there in goes the cabbage. Mix it up a bit as you go. You want to make sure you have a good ratio of cabbage to uh, onions. So I, I'd say that's pretty good right there. I never measure, so to give you guys an idea of how much to actually put in, um, no idea. And I'll wrap that up there. Add a bit more pepper. I love pepper. And uh, a bit more coarse salt. I'm just gonna grab a fork here. And I'm just gonna mix that up a bit before I actually add the eggs. I'm thinking probably three eggs for this. That's gonna make a pretty big ass omelet. But again, I'm just putting egg right into there. I might not use all of this. I can save some for later, but I'll put in three eggs for now. These eggs are so damn fresh. Woo wee! And basically, the mixture is basically done now. You're just gonna mix it around. And that's it. That is like one. Not rocket science. I have enough egg mixture where it's going to uh, create the omelet style egg thing, but also enough uh, vegetables in there. So this is basically a vegetable kind of style omelet, right? Uh, I might have actually had a little bit more cabbage because I don't like the consistency. So I'm just gonna add about that much more. I just wanna thicken it up. I wanna be able to, you wanna taste the egg when you cook it, but you also wanna be able to, uh, you know, get those vegetables and, you know, it'll thicken up a bit as the more you add. Get it to the right consistency that you like. Not that what I'm showing you, but I like that right about there. You know, it's kinda, kinda, I don't know, droopy, gloopy, 
whatever you want to call it. So <laughs> this is a fast recipe. It's, it's not rocket science. Basically, you got to grill bread. Heat up some ham and cheese and away you go. So that is it for that. Let me clean up as we go and uh, say hi to anybody else that's joined. Hi, Vicky. How are you? Uh, Prep for it is still here. I'm just looking back into the comments. Drew, Drew is doing it the Drew way for sure. That's not how they usually do it. Like, really? Of course. Like, I don't... How do they usually do it, though? Right? I'm not Korean. Hello? This is Shut Up and Eat. All right. So I have a pan here. I'm going to, uh, again... And don't forget, guys. Like, this is replicating Korean street toast. My way. Not frickin' Myeongdong way. <laughs> In this pan here, I'm going to be heating up some bread, uh, which might... I'm not sure. Honestly, for me, I would actually rather make the toast in the um, in the grill than grill the bread like a grilled cheese sandwich. That's just me. Um, but we're, we're going to do it, you know, the way they do it in Myeongdong. And uh, we'll go from there. So, hashtag, do it Drew's way. Because I like my way. That's all. Hey, Robert, how are you? <laughs> all right. So basically, instead of putting... So you'll see a big, a big flat grill. And they'll put butter, put the toast on and grill it. But I'm actually going to butter the bread instead. I just find that it works a little bit better uh, at home anyways. Now, the size of the bread, like, you can see, like, that's one of my fingers. So it is quite thick the style of bread that we're using. Of course, I'm gonna make one sandwich. Um, of course, I do have Heinz tomato ketchup, even though it's upside down because of the squeeze bottles on the bottom. We do have uh, some just plain old sandwich ham. And I will be using shredded cheese instead of sliced cheese. Um, typically, they use sliced cheese. It's probably a lot cheaper. I like shredded. And then, of course, after we grill the bread, we're going to sprinkle sugar. Sugar and ketchup. Damn. Crazy, eh? Uh. All right. Let's, uh, first off. Now, timing is important. How the hell can we grill the bread on both sides, cook the omelet, heat the ham, put everything together, well, good luck to me, I guess. But real quickly, I am going to basically butter one side of the bread. Uh, the more butter you add on, the better the, the grill will be, obviously. I like to get every single little corner. At least I try to anyways. And you basically want to butter both sides because we are going to uh, grill both sides. Yes, butter in a tube. This is actually amazing. Cook it in the microwave. Yeah, no, Feng's not here. Um, it's it's butter. It, it, it works very well. Um, I do have butter that uh, we keep in the fridge. But again, it's hard. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. I got the pan on low. I'm going to uh, turn this pan on also. I'll point the camera down in a minute. I don't want... Oh no, I got to find a lid! Found a lid. Okay, good. I'm actually gonna use a bit of extra virgin olive oil. I just, I like cooking with extra virgin olive oil. Um, even though it's a non-stick pan, 
it just seems to be uh, a little better anyways. In taste wise, that is. Okay. So, as you guys can see here, yeah, Piper, I grew up in Branson, actually, that's why. OMS! For mainly minty fresh sandwich. <laughs> All right, let's uh, kind of bring you down over to where I am here. Sorry for the wall, Shogunai. It happens. I have no idea what you guys are talking about, but uh, putting this on here, it could tip, but again, <coughs> I'll bring you guys in closer actually. So ho hopefully you guys can see uh, pretty much what I'm doing here. Hey, Wanamaker, how are you? Had to pick up a quarter pounder meal. Ew, McDonald's. Eggs, eggs brother, eggs. Now, again, they are, when they make these sandwiches, they make it kind of into a square to shape the sandwich. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to add in about that much. And I'm just going to spread it around. Don't be scared of eggs. I always say that. Get your spatula and uh, get the edges going. What you want to do though is you pretty much want to make sure that you put a lid on it. At the same time, I'm gonna grill my bread. Now, is it gonna be perfect? Probably not, but we are doing our best here. Over here, I'm starting to work on my second piece of bread already. This is comfort food at its finest. I understand why the Koreans like this on the go. Um, it's very easy to make, obviously. And uh, that's all you need. The heat is too high on that. You can see the egg is going good. I don't want to put anything on top. The omelet already is going you can see that there I don't know if you guys can see that or not let that cook up just a little bit longer I'm burning the edges a little bit but Shogunai um, this is home cooking right it's not going to be uh, the perfect sandwich but hey at least we can try to make these I'm gonna flip it over Look at that, perfect color, perfect color. And that's all we're gonna do for that. I'm gonna set that off to the side. Again, you could cut the omelet to make exactly uh, the perfect size of bread. That's okay for, for grilling if you guys can see that. But what I'm gonna do now is while the oil is still hot on this side of the bread, I'm gonna sprinkle it with some sugar. And this is what makes it pretty awesome. Now, you might not like sugar, but it really does change the flavor profile of these sandwiches, which is pretty awesome. Again, flip it over. Look at that. Look how beautiful that looks. Doesn't that look nice? That is pretty much done in my books. I'm going to take it. I'm going to put it off to the side here. And you can see uh, pretty much that's where it is. So in the pan now, we're going to heat up some uh, sugar. I got one bread here. Next one is going to go in. Bit of butter on there. Again, I'm going to butter this side. Yes, they do butter the grill, but I prefer the butter on the bread while it's grilling. Uh, that's just my preference. But again, good enough. Get your ham out. We're going to stack up a couple pieces of ham. We just need to heat the ham. That's all we need to do. So you can hear that.
Pam is back. And we are pretty much almost done, guys. Like, it's a very simple recipe. But it's, seriously, comfort food at its finest. I can't read you guys' chat, but uh, I'm sure you're being respectful, so thank you, moderators. Best McDee's breakfast, yeah. I guess you can make McDonald's, but... I'm not a big McDonald's fan, you know, because I obviously I cook at home. Um, never, never really liked their breakfasts. You know, pancakes are kind of flat, you know, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> we are going to uh, set this up here. Tim the Dude in the house, how are you? I didn't see you there. And uh, yeah, just uh, real quickly, I went out. Uh, this is the receipt that I used. I, I got today. Um, is the heat working on this damn thing? The bread, the loaf of bread, six slices cost me $1.38 today for six slices of bread. Like, really? Oh. What's going on, bro? Uh, doing well. We're just sitting here cooking, uh, waiting for uh, Frog Stud, homemade McDee's. What kind of toppings do you put on Korean toast, Drew? Ketchup. You and your damn toppings, I'm telling you. All right, I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to add a bit of sugar. It, it's good enough. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? But again, a bit of sugar. I don't want too much sugar, but enough to give it that sweetness. Now, if you guys remember, I was in Shin Okubo and their Korean street toast was actually different. Um, they put it kind of inside a sandwich with egg, bacon, cheese, ham, cheese, whatever. Uh, but this sauce uh, was completely different, I thought. And uh, I was like, hmm, I've been trying to replicate that sauce. I just, I can't get it. I just cannot get that sauce. But, um, so yeah. Ham is done. Cheese is ready to go. Ketchup is ready to go. Toast is almost ready. And for me, it's good enough. Well, okay, maybe we'll kind of press it down now a bit. <laughs> but this is seriously uh, comfort food at its finest. Uh, if you're ever looking for breakfast ideas, I love breakfast. Is it a brown sauce, Drew? No, it's not. Um, it was a white sauce. Uh, I think some sort of mayonnaise, yogurty kind of sweet sauce. I still can't replicate it. Um, but then we are done the toast here. And let's put this sandwich together and hang out and eat. Uh, hashtag no toppings omelet. Jason, I don't think you've ever gotten one, so welcome to the club. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna. Uh, so we got our toast, we got our egg, we got our ham, we got our cheese, we have our ketchup. Um, get rid of that butter. Why waste it? Put it on the bread. What I'm gonna do here, though, is I'm actually gonna take it and I'm actually gonna cut around just to give it a bit of I could have done it in the pan made it that way but why ketchup very important whoa we got an explosion don't know how that happened that's why I hate these things upside down take your ketchup who doesn't like ketchup I'm gonna take my egg full of cabbage and carrot. I'm gonna put that on top. I'm actually gonna take the rest of the egg and put it on later, but first I'm gonna take cheese. I want that cheese to get a bit melty on from the heat of the egg itself. So again, pile cheese on. You could use cheese slices, you know, whatever you like. Take the ham. Ham, somehow. I'm gonna take those little bits of uh, egg, put more on top because we don't want to be wasting it. Okay. I'm gonna take some more ketchup. 
and we're just going to layer it with ketchup. Sugar side of the toast back down. And cut. And basically guys, you know, looking at it this way, how yummy does that look? How do you rate that? Six out of 10, seven out of 10, 10 out of 10, one out of 10. Let me know. It's as easy as that. It's very comforting. And as soon as you bite into it, if you make it, you'll know exactly what I am talking about. I'm gonna grab our stool, bring the camera down, and eat a frickadaki moss. Uh, couldn't you put Tabasco on Korean street toast? You could. You guys and your freaking toppings. I know you're. I know you're trolling me, Luis. Mm. Groot is gonna get you. Um, Ad natto, really? Ew. Give me the sandal. <laughs> so yeah, this is uh, my my version of a Korean street toast. You can see the ketchup leaving. Uh, Drew, while you eat, what kind of pans do you use? I use Tef, um, Tef, Tefal. Mm. Um, but I do have some diamond coated ones also. Um, you can see that the omelet has the ketchup, the onion, the carrot, the layer of ham and cheese, a little bit more egg. The sugar is gonna add amazing time to it. I actually don't like mayonnaise on this. I, 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 I tried it yesterday, uh, Indigo, but for me, hello Anna, Th welcome back, thank you. Um, I thought, you know, like this would probably be a little better myself. Uh, but hey, eat lucky mas. I hope you uh, enjoyed this. Uh, please answer Tim's question. I didn't see his question, please say it again, Tim. Mm. I understand why these, uh, these are very um, popular. Mm. Mm. Quick, Tim, ask. <laughs> the comments are going fast, so sometimes it is hard, but what pans do you use to cook? I answered that question. I said t -fowl. And I said, um, I have Kitchen Chef, like the diamond coating. The handle removal option is pretty dope. Yeah, um, I like the, the fact that you can remove the handle. Uh, easy for storage. And we have about 12 different pots and pans below us in a small storage, so it does work very well, actually. Do you think banana ketchup will be good with this if you don't want to use sugar and American ketchup? There you go, Tim. Ha! <laughs> um, but yeah, I think like the sweetness of the sugar, I put the right amount. Uh, the, of course, Heinz ketchup is a bit sweet. Um, and then you hit that savory with the cabbage and the onion uh, and the eggs. Oh my God, with my luck, I would lose the handle. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> but, mm -hmm. okay, now say it. Drew's food clues. Mm -hmm. I have one. I have two, I have three handles. I'm not gonna lose a freaking. hey, thanks, Tim. How are you, brother? Glad that you can join. Tim is on the board. Oh, let me stand up for this one. Thank you, brother, for the super sticker. Truly appreciate it. Tim B. Thank you, thank you. Luis's name should go right here. Emoji Club members, Luis R. <laughs> uh, I just love bugging Luis. <laughs> <clears throat> Yesterday, to be honest, guys, uh, when I experimented this recipe, uh, and I will do a shot for you, Tim, thank you. No balloon, really, want to make her? <laughs> um, Hiromi didn't like this so much. Um, Josh Gunner, I thought you stayed away from sugar. Jesus Christ, don't bust my balls. Um, 
but smash that like button, please. I actually, I do actually, you know what, Josh Gunner, you're right. I do stay away from sugar a lot, but a little bit of sprinkle to make this recipe and hey, have more vodka. Actually, Anna, I am drinking Spayburn, a continuation from Shinichi's live stream last night. Uh, ask Nasha Brosh, Nasha Broad to join and then I will think about it. Yeah, right. Uh, I'm sure um, Ramsey, Silent and Nasha are probably over in John's stream right now. Um, warning. Where is Mr. Abroad? Cheers. Thank you, Tim. Truly appreciate it, bro. Um, come by. And now this is one of the rare instances where I'm actually eating and drinking alcohol. But seriously, guys, you got to try this. Like, that is awesome looking. Um, for any of you out there, like, if you want to compare it to like a Denver omelet sandwich, I'm pretty sure you guys know what that is. Um, nothing, com like I'd, I'd rather eat this. And I, I grew up with Denver omelet sandwiches, so. Mmm. That H2O stuff, that'll send you for a loop, I'm telling you. Huh? Katura, John's stream ended already? Wow. I watched about the first 20, 20 minutes. No, not even. Because he started late at 12.20. Yeah, or something like that. So I only got to watch a few minutes of it. So, Did you say ramen sandwiches? No, I did not. <laughs> <coughs> I'm anti-bell pepper. Yeah, some people don't like uh, green pepper. Um, you guys call them bell pepper, you know, whatever. Um, I pretty much love anything but natto. Mm. have Rocky Mountain oysters in it. No, they do not, Josh. Uh, a Denver omelet typically would be ham, onion, and green pepper. Mm. Some people might put tomato, too. No, I do not eat chips with my sandwich. On pizza, the whole thing tastes like peppers. Have you had one of those detachable handles fail on you while using them? Yes, uh, Tiger Zombie. Very good question. Um, I actually had like a bit, I got a big thing that I boiled my pasta in. And I went to go pick it up. And the handle, maybe it was just too old and too hot. Because they do, you know, they do screw up. But I lifted it maybe like an inch and it slammed back down. I was like, whew, it was a hot bowl, bowl full of pasta. So it, it does happen. Um, I love tomato too, but it was not user error, Wanamaker. I try to eat vegetables every day. Um, last night I had, for dinner, I had maba tofu, which, uh, I will be releasing that video later tonight. Um, and that'll be my last Tokyo Drew Eats video. Um, and, uh, menchikatsu, kind of weird. I had no rice though, no carbs. And then I had a big bowl of cabbage and, uh, I don't know if we have it still. Or maybe Hiromi, Hiromi eats a lot of, uh, tomatoes too. No, we had like little yellow tomatoes right now. I only have these tomatoes here, which will probably be gone today or tomorrow. Cucumbers. 90 yen for three cucumbers, not too bad. So, lot, we have so many vegetables. Oh, mm. that's freaking awesome, man. I like the fact that the sugar actually enhances the ketchup. You eat money. I don't have enough cabbage to do that. <laughs> the good thing here, though, is the fact that because the prepackaged shredded cabbage, um, it's easy, right? You can buy probably a big head of cabbage for a couple of dollars and then shred it yourself. We have these uh, tools that, you know, 
kind of like, um, what do you call these things, right? Um, but we have one specific for cabbage that actually really shreds the cabbage really well. But, you know, convenience-wise, um, it's easier to just go buy those things. Peeler. Thank you, Piper. <laughs> I can't believe I couldn't think of a freaking name. Peeler. Um, yeah, go figure, right? Yeah, I just, now, now I lost it. OMS. Mm. But uh, we eat a lot of cabbage, a lot of, a lot of vegetables. Uh, Tim Hewitt uses, uses hot dehydrogen oxide to make their coffee. It, it can burn you. Oh, okay. I have an upset stomach after McDonald's. Well, Wanamaker, why did you eat McDonald's? Mr. At Tokyo Drew, do you buy organic vegetables in Japan? No. Sometimes. They're primarily more expensive. Now I want to eat cabbage raw. Awesome, Anna. Cabbage is good for you. Um, but no, I don't uh, really. Uh, what is the tattoo on your arm? Uh, I have a big koi fish. I have a scorpion. I have my son's birthdays on my arm here. You can see like the initials and a birthday here. Initials and a birthday here. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. But because um, <laughs> it was there. Mm. They have some target. Uh, it wasn't that much. Oh, cool. I'm a cabbage-loving Russian. Oh, you're Russian. I, I used to know a few words in Russian. How many tattoos do you have? I just got this half sleeve. That's it. That I want to mention on live stream. <laughs> is Nosh here? Oh, he is here. Hey, Nosh. How are you? Um... Was Shinichi uh, and Satoshi really nervous today? <laughs> yes. I saw them a little bit, but I couldn't uh, hang out too much. Obviously, got to start this stream. <coughs> I have 14 tattoos. Wow. Um, I remember what it was in Russian. Privyet. I don't know what that meant. And Yalublu. Something like that. I just remember those two words in Russian. That was it. You think they were fine? Oh, good, good, good. Because I know last night Sh Shinichi, even though he wouldn't admit it, I think he was a little nervous being on John's channel today, so. My cunt, hey there. My cunt is here? Yay! Mmm. Oh. My version of a Korean street sandwich. Street toast, whatever you want to call it. Um. Mmm. It's seriously pretty good. I could have probably grilled the bread a little bit better, but I think I got the right amount of sugar to the right amount of ketchup. Uh, definitely got the right amount of uh, cabbage, onion, and carrot to the uh, to the egg. So I think I did a pretty good job. And and how long did that take? You know, like if you put your head down to it, you're not doing a live stream like I am. You know, so on and so forth. I'm pretty sure you can make this in 15 minutes, if that. Right? Obviously, uh, in Myeongdong, they probably do it in five five minutes. You know? But... Mm. Good night, Jackie. Yes. The cabbage and carrots and the onion all have a bit of crunch to it. Because you're, you're only being heated up, kind of. Not even really being cooked that much. Uh, because you're cooking the eggs. Um... But, like, I don't know if you guys can hear this, but, you know, they are thinned a lot. You know, they are thinned. They are sliced thin, so they are still going to cook a little bit. But I'm getting a little bit of crunch, but nothing that you can actually hear the crunch, right? Mmm. I like the fact that it's kind of a sweet and savory mix. It's playing around with my head. Because you bite in, you get the ketchup and the sugar. And then the more you eat it, you get that egg. So now you're like, oh my God, it's an omelet. But then you taste the cabbage, carrot, and onion mixture. And you're like, what the hell is this? But then... After you eat it, it's like, oh, 
that was satisfying. So I can understand um, why they like this, right? Kill another one, Drew, and stay on longer. Uh, maybe we'll go do some shots. Depends on uh, what we do um, after this. Okay, Ram. Hmm. This is awesome. I, I, I got to admit it. Good job, Drew. Good job. You did a great job. The only thing I don't like, to be honest, and I, I can critique my own uh, food, is like I said, the bread could be grilled better, but it's a little bit oily, kind of like a grilled cheese sandwiches, right? I think if you, if I had like a stone to put on top of my bread, <laughs> hashtag Luis, join the club, um, to get that more crusty feel of the whole bread, making it more even, I think that would be a lot better. But other than that, yeah, it's pretty good, man. Mm. I wonder if Subway will make it for me. <laughs> Do you hate grilled cheese sandwiches? Oh my God. I love anything grilled cheese. Good night, Piper. <laughs> you can, yeah. I just didn't want to ruin my butter, I guess you could say, on the other side. But it's a good idea, too, Nosh. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed my uh, quick... Tokyo Drew style, shut up and eat, Korean street sandwich. Of course, honestly, comparing the one that I saw in Myeongdong and comparing the one that I had in Shin Okobo, and for what I made now, well, Myeongdong would be number one. I'd say I'd have to say number two for myself, even though... Uh, I've lost a lot of weight, Nosh, actually, about 11 kilograms. Um, but I just ate a whole shitload of carbs. Um, the one that I ate in Shinokubo, I thought was good for what it was. But, again, it wasn't like, how about shut up and shut up? <laughs> it, do it does look good, though, Drew. Thank you. Um, what did Anya say? I never had Japanese food. Wow. Japanese food is good. And I'll post my Mabudo food. I replicated my wife's recipe. I was actually surprised. Uh, Myeongdong food is too expensive and overrated. Uh, I don't agree, Josh. Sorry. Um, I thought it was cheap enough. Um, and it was okay. You know, for the price. You know, I, if you've been to Korea, obviously, um, I don't know what you're comparing it to either. So, you know, are you comparing it to Busan or are you comparing it to, what are you comparing it to, right? Um, but Hiromi and I, we found that the prices were reasonable. I'm not going to say that they're expensive and overrated. Hey, my cunt, how are you? Um, but still cheaper than Japan. So that's what I'm comparing it to. Long dong food. You guys are weird with your freaking hashtags, man. <laughs> so I guess that, you know, compared to other areas, you have to search for to other street foods. Well, I guess in Seoul, if you're going to do that, but number one, I never lived there. I visited. I'm a tourist. So going to Myeongdong is good enough for me. So... I'm sure that if you live there, like Sharla used to live in Seoul, uh, you know, things like that, they would know, and obviously maybe you know, um, better areas. But all I'm saying is compared to Japan, pff, so much cheaper, right? Drew, a heated cast iron pan can be used as a press. Yes, you're absolutely right. So, but anyways... You probably know more about Myeongdong than I do, Josh, so no worries. 
Um, I'm just saying what I think, right? Gonna make this for food sessions? Uh, no. Um, this is my last food, no, how do I say it? Food sessions will be changing to shut up and eat as of tomorrow. I do know that. Um, well, thank you, ja uh, Jason. Drink for Ramsey Silent. Did, did, I, did, Ra did I miss Ramsey Silence? Well, let's cheers uh, Ramsey Silent anyways. Thank you, Jason. I gotta make sure I don't fall off this frickin' stool, man. Ugh. J Song M four ninety nine. Thank you, brother. Truly appreciate it. And uh, let's have a shot in Ram's honor. It's nice that you're you're buying other people's shots. <laughs> Drew hit his stools. I know, right? I'm scared to actually get up off the stool. Cheers. Oh, see, food and alcohol just don't mix for me. They really don't. Oh, I need coffee. I'm not squatting down. I'm sitting on a stool. Like, I am... I'm sitting on this. <coughs> and I'm bringing you guys over here a bit closer now. Uh, okay, there we go. I'll do one with you, bro. Cool. I gotta have a smoke. You know, that's the only bad part. After I eat, I gotta smoke! And clean up my pots and pans. Gotta make sure that the kitchen is clean when the wife gets home. Not sure what we're gonna have for dinner, though. Or what I'm gonna cook for dinner. Um, and please, smash that like button. I would truly appreciate it, of course, as always. And... Uh, more cigarettes. Yeah, I know. Don't get on my ass about smoking. I'm a big boy. I know what I'm doing. Mm. Fan on. Now, the one thing I do pop that most button for Drew Peoples. Yes, my cunt. My cunt is in the house. Um, I gotta come up with a logo. Quentin made teriyaki chicken drumsticks for dinner tonight. Yum! Stop smoking, big boy. Really? Don't bug me about drinking, smoking, peeing in an alley, spitting. What else do I do? Crazy. <laughs> you are not smoking. You are just a sucker on the other end. Oh, but I'm back. Actually, for dessert, ladies and gentlemen, yesterday I made scones. Okay, I was gonna try and... <laughs> so again, you guys have seen... Uh... Oh, Indigo, thank you. Uh, you guys have seen us make these before, but yesterday um, we made uh, these cranberry scones. I was eating them last night. They are hard. Uh, because it is made with pancake mix and not a traditional scone. Hey, Panda Moon. Um, but you can see, like, they're, they're topped with a bit of sugar. And you can see the cranberries inside. Um, so, yes, that is for dessert. Or, before Hiromi gets home, one of these. Don't tell Hiromi. That's what she said. <laughs> but I'm just wondering if Hiromi's counted those scones, because if I eat one, then she'll be like, hey. So yeah, nuke them. I could nuke the scones, yeah. Um, I put a little bit of butter on it, you know, something along those lines, right? It's so tiny. That's not what she said. Um, <laughs> but no, that's the way Hiro like Hiromi and I, she likes things you know, Japanese like to eat things small. So, for Hiromi, that is the perfect size. God, I'm setting myself up here. I really am. Sorry, guys. But before I forget, Indigo, thank you so much uh, for being on the board. 
Uh, indigo rose. Indigo rose. Three dollar hala. Arigato. And let's get this shot out of the way because I'm smoking so I can drink. Uh, yeah, I know, right, Luis? Love you, girl. You know, honestly, Groot is here. This was sent to me last year. And I can't figure out who sent it to me. Was, was it LMA or was it Boiled Nuts? They won't tell me either. And we haven't seen Boiled Nuts in over a year. He doesn't uh, really, you know, maybe he watches every once in a while. Um, but typically, I guess he's left the, the TD crew family uh, a few months ago. Um, but I do hope that he is uh, well. And, uh, well, we haven't seen LMA, LMA. Either he's lurking or he's busy. Boiled Groot? That's just wrong, Cobrat. That's so wrong on so many levels. Groot is good. I almost forgot about Boiled Nuts. Yeah. Um, he just, he, he likes to, uh, you know, watch smaller channels, I guess. And I guess because, you know, I'm doing okay, uh, he decided to uh, leave, I guess. Yeah, I don't know, whatever it is. That's, uh, he, uh, where's Boiled Nuts? Exactly. Um, I talked to him about a month ago or two months ago, but I don't, just lost contact, I guess. Um, he's moved on, which uh, is okay, you know, uh, everybody does. So, is that salt and pepper on your fridge door? Yes, those are little salt and pepper bunny ear. You, you, quish, you, you quish them, squish them, and uh, the salt and pepper come out, but we don't use them that much. I prefer root. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to be working on um, a shut up and eat logo today. Um, I don't really, if you guys have any ideas, please email me and uh, squeeze. I know, right? Couldn't even get the OMS! OMS! That's all I'm saying! Um, I want to, uh, I'm thinking like an emo some sort of an emoji like where, you know, shut up and then eat like ah, kind of style thing. I don't know. Got to figure it out. But uh, I want to work on that. It'll probably take me hours to do today. I use garlic instead of salt oh cool what did peg to say during this lockdown there is a disturbing lack of pocket rockets just saying i know sorry but we will be out on the streets live tomorrow after my dentist appointment i don't know where from maybe around 12 o'clock my time <laughs> as i'm heading on my way home um Maybe we'll stop off. Well, I've been to Ikebukuro, I've been to Weno, so I don't know, hashtag just saying. Laptop didn't break, I could design something. Oh, cool. Um, but if you do have any ideas, send it to my email. Uh, check my about page if you don't know my email. If you do know my email, great. Um, and uh, if you do have any submissions, Drew sucks shots bubble bath. <laughs> Hashtag replace Wanamaker useless mug. My god, you guys are like busting my balls already. It's a collector's item, Wanamaker. Just get a big magic marker and put shut up and eat across it. I have a, a kitchen apron, I have a t shirt with food sessions. I swear to God. Oh. Moko Chibi, you okay? Are you guys awake? Did you have a good nap? All right. Sorry, my puppies are kind of wanting attention. So we're going to go into the den in a minute. Hang out for a few minutes, but... Uh, I got to get up off the stool. It's kind of scary. Ugh. Shut that off, shut that off, 
shut that off. I got to uh, take my shots with me, my coffee. I'll be back. Get the board, bring that with me, and have you guys come follow me. I can't show you my dirty laundry. <laughs> my dirty laundry, get it? That's as big as my kitchen is though, that's it. Hmm. Make sure I'm not showing you guys anything. And into the den we go. Close the door, shut the light off. Yes, Chibi, I'll give you kisses. Hold on. Let me sit down here. Hi, guys. Sorry about that. Oops. Chibi wants some kisses here. So what's the size of your apartment? Um, hold on. I'll answer that in a minute. Hi, Chibi. <laughs> you okay? Hmm? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, we have an emoji for you, you know. Yes, we do. Mwah. Okay, bye-bye. Uh, my apartment is basically a three-bedroom apartment, but we uh, have converted, converted it into a one-bedroom and den. So hopefully that answers your question. I think it was Anna that asked that. Uh, who else asked the question here? Where'd it go? Oh my God, you, you guys, I'm gonna freaking bar you guys. 2K sized apartment, right, Drew? Uh, no, it's a 3LDK. Um, but like I said, we have converted it into a one bedroom and den. So we basically made our, uh, now, now I got you guys on the chat here. Now I can read it better. Um, hello, Sayuri. How are you? There was a question I wanted to look for, and I can't find it now. And I'm just going to remove that comment. I don't really need that in here. Um, can't help it. Love the bathtub emoji, but it will be gone for the live stream. But it will be gone for the live stream. <laughs> I should do a, uh, I don't know. Depends on how much alcohol I have as to how many bubble baths I take. <laughs> That's freaking scary, guys. Like, really. I just, uh, it, it's crazy. And somebody just sent me an email. Uh-oh, I'm scared. Let me check here. Um, but I, honestly, oh. Okay, that was a Patreon message. Facebook message from Wanamaker or something. I don't know where that just came from. I guess it wasn't an email. Hmm. Oh, you guys and your freaking hashtags. Why, Luis, why did you start these hashtags? Like, really? You know? Oh. Hashtag annoy Drew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now another one. Uh-oh. Um, Tiger Zombie. Are there any large hardware stores there in Japan, like Home Depot? Not that I know. Well, there are, but... Or Lowe's when uh, I was in Korea. I couldn't find any like that. It was always like small shops. There are small shops, but we have like Kine Homes, which is not... It's kind of like a Home Depot, but... Um, not as uh, stocked as well, but they do have DIY stores here. Um, I would love to go and film there, but every one of those stores do say no cameras. Um, oh yes, the, 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 you're asking about my dogs. Yes, I'll get to that. Um, and let me highlight that comment so I come back to it. I don't I remember. Um, but like I watch VCG construction every day. Um, who I've been a subscriber for a couple of years, and I'm just so proud of how he, how well he's done. Um, 
I'm not really into tools and DIY and things like that. I can't even put a freaking puzzle. You see that puzzle right there? It's still there. Hashtag hate, but I can't time out mods anymore. I know, right? <sighs> Jason, I just saw it. Thank you. Hashtag get Drew drunk. This is what I love about you guys. You guys are freaking ball. Support me, but you get me drunk. Thank you, Jason. I truly appreciate it. Um, as for my puppies, um, they are both Maltese mix. Chibi is a Maltese Chihuahua, no, Maltese Toy Poodle mix. And Moco is actually a Maltese Chihuahua mix. Cheers, guys. Thank you, Jason. Donna, thank you. Why does the bottom of the bottle always seem stronger? Um, we've had Moco now for uh, three, three and three quarter years. Uh, we got her in September of 2016. It's her birthday in June, uh, June 9th. And we've had Chibi for just over three years. Uh, we got her in uh, 2017, 18. Um, something like that. Less water at the bottom. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm down for that. Thanks for the support. Thank you, Ram. Um, you got to shake it. Oh, okay. Let's shake it, shake it, shake it. You know, um, love my puppies. They are my world. Um, absolutely just, they're awesome. They sleep with us. Um, I give them kisses, I clean up after them, I treat them like my children. Um, I don't know, pets are pets, man. Like, if you're not, if you don't have pets, you, you can't understand. But after a while of having pets, they grow on you, right? You, you, you take care of them and uh, all kinds of different things. So, yeah, that's pretty much... Uh, what it is, so. Um, ew, cool about you, you top 40 hits fan? Shake it. Who, what, who sang that song? I'm thinking Salt and Pepper. No, that was a different song, wasn't it? That's why you're next week's favorite mod for one day. <laughs> Gotta get to bed early day tomorrow. See you guys later. Tim, thank you, brother. Thank you for uh, being a family member, and uh, thanks for popping in, brother. Truly appreciate it. Um, I didn't show off your age. You did. Vicky, Cobra's old. Oh, that was Push It. Oh, yeah. Push it. Push it real good. Dun, 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 okay. Enough of that. Oh, my God. It's the shots, I'm telling you. Uh, if Fang was here, he'd be saying, karaoke, karaoke. What are your experience with vets in Japan? Are they expensive? Uh, good question, zombie. Um, good experience with vets. Uh, they treat, our vet treats Chibi and Moko like his own. Uh, just around the corner, probably a five or six minute uh, walk. Um, and uh, expensive? Yeah, it can be. Um, we see the vet where we bought our puppies though. So like as an example, vaccine shots every year probably run us about 45. We're a typical vet, um, probably about 75. Uh, but you know, that might be a average price around the world. I, I really don't know. Um, but you know, we, we have deliverable, delivered food uh, every second month, uh, about 10 kilograms of food or eight kilograms or whatever the hell it works out to. Um, we feed them the same food. We feed them, uh, their snacks are healthy. You know, like we don't feed them any wet food. Five minutes of funk. That was by Houdini, wasn't it, Wanamaker? Is that what you're talking about? Dun, 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 dun. Do you remember that song? Is that Houdini, right? Five minutes of funk? 
The party won't start till I walked in. I probably won't leave until the thing ends. But in the meantime and in between time, if you work your way and I work mine, we came here together so we could have fun. Me and you, baby, go one-on-one. -on -one. So this is the last chance to get for us to get off. To either get loose or you gotta get lost. Cause I'm just about to, I'm just about to, ready to do my thing. I'm a stone cold New York rack machine. I can't remember all the lyrics anymore, but uh, it used to be one of my favorite songs to roller skating. Drew! <laughs> Wait. The party didn't start till I walked in, and I probably won't leave until the thing ends. But in the meantime, and in between time, if you work your way and I work mine, we came here together so we could have fun. You and me, baby, go one on one. So this is the last chance for us to get off. So we either get loose or you ought to get lost. Because I'm just about ready to do. I can't remember. I'm trying. Ah! Sh shot time for me? <laughs> um, I would love to. Um, yeah, Houdini was, uh, you know, that's back in like what, 1980. 1980. Good morning. Hey, Retro. How are you? Thank you for joining again. I can't play because it's on my phone, Wanamaker. That means the live stream will be finished. But um, I actually probably can bring it up here. <coughs> but then I'd probably get copyright striked and all that stuff. Uh, five minutes of funk. Yes. It is here, actually. Oh, thank you, Indigo. For you! I like that super sticker, that's cute. Thank you, Indigo! Mwah! Love you, girl. Um, what other... I used to listen to all kinds of crazy shit, though. Like, I did the music trivia. Indigo, thank you. I, I got to listen to it later, Wanamaker. I can't listen to it now. Uh, sorry. Um, unless you sent it to me via email, which I don't see. Um, I got to check Katura's message here. Uh, view message. Let's see what she's saying. Oh, Katura sent me a good idea about uh, Shut Up and Eat logo. <laughs> She's saying, for the Shut Up and Eat logo, you can have a face with a spoon in it like it's been forcibly placed. <laughs> that might be pretty fun, actually. You never know. Um, thank you, Jason. Tired. Coffee? Oh, I like your coffee, too. It's me mimicking five minutes of funk. Oh, okay. Thanks, Jess. And Donna. Jason has the hat trick. Yes, his double hat trick today. You know, kind of like Calgary Flames players do. No, not Montreal Habs. Cheers, Jess. Three shots to go, people, and we're done. Ah, oh, frick, how am I going to make a logo and fix my channel if I'm hammered? Oh, wait, I'm always hammered. Um, oh, and an update for all the TD crew members out there. Our post office is shut down. Um, so I'm going to be trying tomorrow to mail everything. Everything is ready to go. It is 10 days late. I apologize. But this, this mail is really bugging me. Um, and... I'm still hoping that I can mail uh, certain things to uh, to um, Australia and things like that. Because I heard like in New Zealand. Um, but I'll take that chance tomorrow. I'll be getting all that done. Beautiful postcard for you all. So a nice picture anyways. Um, I took the picture of Asakusa and uh, dead. And uh, made that into a... Uh, a postcard, so how much for a super shot? <laughs> uh, let me see here. Do I qualify for postcards? Uh, no, Sandra, not at that level. 
Oh my God. That's the left of it. Oh, I think I should do that into two. But that is scary that I finish this bottle within 24 hours. Ouch. Um, <coughs> you are the best for taking it like a man. <laughs> I'll do half RAM for that. That's, thank you. That is a uh, pretty freaking hard shot, dude. Um, but I will do anything for Ramsey Silent. Cheers, bro. Thank you. Um, I'm just trying to psych myself out. I'm trying to do this. Oh. oh, shit. Jason? In the... No! <laughs> Seriously, thank you for the support. I truly appreciate it. I really, really do. You guys are so bad. I think you're like feeling like you're ganging up on me now. Jason. A quadruple something or other. Indigo. A hat trick. Okay. I'm going to do it. Screw it. I'm going to do it. Ah. Oh. I got to crack my neck. I'm getting ready. Is Cindy, Mur Cindy Murata here? I didn't see. Oh, there she is. Hi, Cindy. Okay. For Jason, Ram, Indigo, and honestly, for everybody. Um, fuck it. Screw it. Um... Oh, Jesus Christ. You know I'm going to get buzzed and then start yapping, right? All right, guys, here we go. I love you all, seriously. Oh! oh. I freaking see stars, man. My eye, look at my eyes. Ah. <sighs> Woo! <laughs> Damn. That really hit. I don't trust this chair. Thanks, guys. That really hit me good. Oh, tequila bottle. I do not have tequila in my house. Uh, that street toast is going to taste good coming up, isn't it? Actually, I don't throw up from alcohol, Tiger. Um, if you hang out on this channel more, um, I, I have this uncanny ability to drink whiskey. Like I've said, um, I drink beer and I get drunk fast. But whiskey, I am all good. I really, really am. Um, Barstool is another story. Yeah, pretty much, Trevor. <laughs> uh, or if I mix whiskey, like, with a mixer, like Coca-Cola, you know, something along those lines, it's it's nuts. It, it turns into a crazy-ass uh, staggering around. But I'm happy, you know. Um, but I probably won't drink now for till tomorrow. <laughs> no, I won't drink tomorrow. Um, I always use Sprite. That's one thing I don't like, Anna, is vodka. Now, if I drink a martini, I'd actually rather use gin and vermouth. Um, I don't like... I don't like vodka that much. It's... I don't know. It's tasteless. It's... Uh, just... The old trick was back in the day, you could have a shot of vodka because it doesn't smell on your breath so much, right? Um, vodka's for pussies. <laughs> I agree. I totally agree with that. Yeah, I don't do indica, wanna, nope. Can we, like, really not talk about smoking dope? 
I really, you guys got to understand that uh, YouTube does the the bot actually goes through the comments and stuff. So in the future, Josh, uh, I know you've mentioned, I've said it a couple times, but uh, let's try and keep away from that. Just just saying, eh? Just got home, but did listen to you on my phone while driving. Tried not to look, but when it sounded like you were going to fall off your chair. <laughs> Nap time before Hiromi kills kills you. You can do it. Uh, yeah, I probably will, right? Um, I'm used to the cronies channel. Uh, yeah, but I'm not Chris. So, adjust. Um, but I no 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 worries Josh I just uh, I just don't want it in the chat because of you know certain the way the algorithm or you know the bots pick up things you know just it happens so I just want to stay as safe as possible right and actually now that I think about it I'll probably re-edit this video anyways and uh, before I came into the den here I will download this video again and then repost it so for all of you that are here now. Uh, you'll probably see a re-edited version of this. So, but uh, sorry, I felt left out. No idea what you were saying there, Ascension, because you retracted everything before I could read it. But um, yeah, other than that, like uh, <laughs> I want to sit back in this freaking chair. Can you hear the creaking? That's from me trying to fix it. All right, I'm going to put my foot here, kind of relax. Now, hopefully I won't fall. Hopefully. I got to hold on to the table. Sorry, I retracted. I thought it was not appropriate. Hey, no worries, no worries. Um, poor chair. Oh, my nose is so itchy. <laughs> Uh, but I will be leaving in a few minutes, um, and I want to say thank you to everybody, really. Uh, Moto Gnome, Tim B, Indigo, Jason, Ram, thank you so much. And, uh, yeah, hashtag, get Luis in the Emoji Club, man. Like, I'm not going to rest until it happens. Oh, I don't get it. Oh, Indigo, thank you. <laughs> Indigo, really? <coughs> she hit the quadruple. Awesome. What are you doing, Indigo? Stop it. I have to go get more shots now. That was a doubler. A double ten. She got like five on the board. My God. What? Leave? What am I supposed to do at 1 a.m.? Go to sleep? <laughs> Oh, Indigo, you're amazing. Open up the Philippines whiskey. I am scared of that Philippine whiskey, Josh. I really am. Uh, Josh Lee, did you catch the hack? I'm and now I'm looking at my comments. Let me see what's going on here. Dun -dun 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 Oh, uh, are you talking about the dice in my cunt? Uh, no, go get coffee. Then Indigo, I have coffee right here. Thank you, darling. <sighs> I need to figure out my, my channel. But you know what's funny is I'm going to have to start cooking more, but... If you guys haven't subscribed to Food Sessions, which is going to be uh, Shut Up and Eat tomorrow, please do so. Um, I don't know how to make it better. Um, Indigo should choose, and she did. Um, I think that that's why I don't listen to him. He's too new school. I was quoting Blake Sheldon's song. I have no idea who Blake Sheldon is. I got a deck of Filipino smokes this week. A friend of mine said he got some from the DMZ zone in Korea. That's what they said. They were harsh. But for real, don't be scared of Philippines whiskey. It's Southern Comfort, I promise. Uh, not from what I tasted. 
Ramsey Sun, always need more coffee. Yes, I do agree. This is my fourth big cup of coffee today. Ah, and I'm one of those guys that I can drink coffee until 11 o'clock at night and go to sleep by 11.30. Coffee has never affected me. Um, you know, just being in the casino business, I used, I used to drink coffee. It's like water to me. Is it healthy for me? Yeah, no, okay. Start ripping on my ass about the, 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 healthy, the healthiness of coffee. But um, yeah, caffeine doesn't really bother me. It's weird. Unless I, it does bother me and I just don't know it. I don't know. You should get a breathalyzer so you can see what your blood alcohol level is. That's quite interesting, Tiger Zombie. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure I'm over the legal limit. Start drinking Spanish coffees then. I don't like Spanish coffee, actually. Or Irish coffees, or, you know, whatever you want to call uh, certain things. Um, I like coffee. I like shots. That's all there is to it, so. But, guys, I'm going to head out now. Um, Whiskey makes her clothes fall off song. Oh, I'm going to check that out, Cindy. Because uh, I don't know who Blake Sheldon is. Um, but I'm sure if I hear the song, maybe I know. I don't know. Uh, before you go, could you please smash the like button? I, I truly would appreciate that. Um... Ever have blueberry tea? Uh, maybe. I'm not a tea drinker. But we will be back live tomorrow, out and about. Um, I have to go up to Saitama uh, by my office uh, to the dentist at 11 a.m. Um, I'm getting some uh, work done here. Uh, basically, they're putting a bridge. They fixed some teeth. I had perfectly normal teeth a month ago. One tooth got cracked. And... Then they put a metal post in and they did something else on my back tooth. And now they're going to put like a permanent bridge style here. Um, so, yeah, I'm going up to Da Sai Tama um, for my dentist and then traveling back. And we'll do a live stream on the way back uh, to start the month off. Good. Uh, I do want to say thank you, though, before I go, because this will be my last stream. Just for you. Um, this will be my last live stream for April. Um, I don't know how many I've done. Probably over 40. Um, a great month. Uh, the, the community grew. The TD Crew family grew. Um, the, we started the Emoji Club. I truly, truly, seriously thank you for the support. It's been uh, overwhelming. And um, I wouldn't be here without you guys. I really, really wouldn't. Um, Thank you for all the super chats, the super stickers, the Patreon members, the Emoji Club members. Uh, the monetary support truly, truly helps. Um, and hopefully I can just bring you guys, you know, make you feel like you can relate to me or hang out with me, bug me, hashtag me, whatever you want to do. I love you all. Until next time, guys, which will be next month, which is tomorrow. Well, Japan time anyways. Keep it real, keep it raw, straight to yourself, because I always do. Bye, guys, and thank you, everybody. Moderators, family, Patreon members, Emoji Club, and the community for everybody that watches. And even if you're not subscribed, thank you for watching. Bye, guys.